Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome with Cooking with Camille. Today we're going to do something quick and easy. We're going to make some cream of potato and broccoli soup. That's right, cream of potato and broccoli soup. And you're going to need some chicken base or chicken broth, whatever you prefer. Okay, we got some icon potatoes. I got one uh, small onion. I got four scallions cut up. I got one bell pepper, any color you want to get. I had a yellow one. And I got three stalks of celery. I got a bag of frozen broccoli. And you need some milk, about a cup of milk. And we're going to put, I got some bacon. We're going to fry that up. So we got that frying now. Some bacon to go into it. So we're doing cream of bacon and broc cream of potato and broccoli soup. Okay? And then we're going to have leftover meatball sandwiches that we had left over, if we had any. I haven't even checked the refrigerator yet. Okay, stay tuned. Did I tell y'all a can of carrots too? I didn't want to use fresh carrots because they take too long. We're trying to make it quick and easy. Okay, while this is cooking and getting a little brown, we're going to go here. I fill the pot about the same amount where this end of the skillet is, about a third of a way of water. And then we're going to add beef base, I mean chicken base to it, so we can get the flavor, the flavor that you want, or chicken broth, whatever you prefer, doesn't matter. Chicken base or chicken bro uh, bro broth, just get the flavor that you want. I start off with uh, one tablespoon, and if it gets too salty, you can always add water. So you get that started first, so you don't have to um, add it later, okay? And we're just going to continue to turn this, get this brown. Then we'll add our onions and celery to sa saute them. Now while we got all this, let me turn the fan on. Oh, fan. While we got all this great flavor instead of adding we're going to add our one small onion and our three uh four scallions we're going to add that to the mix add, uh, any color bell pepper you want to do and i got three stalks of celery i'm going to add that okay. we're going to add our one teaspoon of I got you all-purpose seasoning on the vegetables. Oops, I didn't cut down. About one teaspoon. Some chunks came out. We got out another one. Hold on one second. My alarm going off. Okay, we're gonna add. Uh, let me see if I can find the other one. Yep, I got a new one. I got your seasoning. This says no salt added purpose. That's what I love about it. No salt. You can put as much as you want. It's gonna give it nothing but flavor. But we're only gonna put one teaspoon. Okay. I got some, uh, we're going to add some of this gourmet burger seasoning. It's got good flavor to it, too. You just don't need it on burgers. You can put it on anything. I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of that. It's got pepper, um, let me read what it got in it. It's got coarse salt, garlic, salt, paprika, chili powder, onion, black pepper, crushed red peppers, smoke flavor. So that's going to give it a smoky, the um, super smoky flavor. So we're going to add... I'm going to add in there about a half a teaspoon. Okay. And then some pepper. I'm going to make it too spicy. About a half a teaspoon of pepper. Okay. And that's all we're going to use right now in the Italian seasoning. Oh, I just emptied that one. 
And then we just stir that all up. I'll get some Italian seasoning out the pantry. Just stir that all up until you get it real seasoned, real good. I even cut the celery leaves up because that's flavor. Always cut up all your flavor. Cut up all the green onion, the whole green onion, except the brown part. We're going to let that simmer. Oh, my God, it's got the whole house smelling. Okay, I got a little garlic powder here. We're going to add a little garlic powder to it. Just about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I don't want too much garlic powder. Just a half. Then we're going to do, um, just keep stirring it. Get all those seasonings in there. And taste your broth to see how your broth is coming so we can switch this pan over. And while we're getting this broth melted down, I'm going to start peeling my potatoes.
Oh, forgot to even cut y'all off. Sorry. Now it's been long enough. We're gonna the carrots. They're small carrots, so we're just gonna add. We're not gonna cut them up. If they're large carrots, then cut them up where you have enough, enough room. Then I got one bag of broccoli carrots, so we're gonna cut that up. Not cut it up. We're gonna put the whole bag in there. We'll add the milk last. Some of them are big, but they'll cook down because there's not much much in there. Let me show you what they look like. The potatoes. So we're going to put the lid on and let it cook. Cook down, and then we'll add the milk and thicken it up. Okay? And that's pretty much all we got to do. So we'll let that come to a boil so our potatoes get done. Then we'll add our milk and our um, thicken it up. Okay, you're going to take a spoon and get a knife and just check your potatoes to see if they tender. They're getting there, I say about four more minutes. So now we're going to add our milk. I say about a cup of milk. And stir that up. And then we're going to add our roux. Melt some butter and stir some flour in it to thicken it up, to make it a little thicker than what it is, okay? Just add a little more milk. And then I got my roux done. It's just butter and flour, and you mix it where it's smooth like this. And you're just gonna add it to your mixture. And if you need more, just make another roux until it gets thickened. The thicker, the thicker, the thickness that you want. I gotta get get a little tongue tied here. The thickness that you want. So just keep adding a, a little bit more roux. If you need a little more butter and roux, so I'm gonna let that cook a little bit and see if I need any more. And if I need more, I'll just add more. Okay. Look at this, y'all. Starting to look good. Broccoli potato soup. Okay. I think we might have to add a little more roux. Okay, so I made some more roux. I'm going to add it to my mixture. This should be it. should make it thick enough the way I want it. Okay, here we go. Cream of potato and broccoli soup with the leftover Swedish meatball sandwich and a glass of cranberry juice. Look at that, y'all. That looks so good. So good. Okay, y'all, please subscribe and uh, follow me as always. Y'all have a great day. Tell me what you think. Bye-bye. Close that sandwich up.